Hello dear students, welcome to the channel Visual Physics Tutor to learn physics in the most easiest and the simplest way and clear your concepts. In the last session we had ended up with a problem to solve or to find the number of electrons constituted in one coulomb of charge. So we have seen that Q is equal to N into E where Q represents the total charge, N is the number of electrons and E is the charge of one electron. So suppose if Q is 1, that is the total charge and N is the number of charges that we have to find and E is the charge of one electron, so that is minus 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulombs. So N can be written as 1 by minus 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulombs. On solving this we will get 6.25 into 10 to the power 18 electrons. So here the minus sign is just neglected because we are just considering the magnitude that is the number of electrons. And today we will deal with an important topic that is Coulomb's law or Coulomb's inverse square law. So here this law states that the electric interaction between two point charges is directly proportional to the product of the charges and inversely proportional to the square of the distance separating them. So we can consider two point charges. Suppose this is at point A and this is point B. At point A let us assume we have a charge Q1 and at point B let us assume that we have a charge Q2 and let them be separated by a distance R and let this charges be placed in air or vacuum. Now as per the statement it states that the force between them is directly proportional to the product of the charges. So what does it mean? It means that F is proportional to Q1 Q2. Let us assume this to be equation 1. Similarly, it also stated that this electrostatic force is inversely proportional to the square of the distance separating these two charges. So that is equation 2. Now let us combine equation 1 and 2. So we get F proportional to Q1 Q2 by R square. We can remove the proportional sign, replace it by a constant. Here the constant is K. So it is KQ1 Q2 by R square. Alternatively, this K can be again rewritten as 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q1 Q2 by R square, where K has got a value of 9 into 10 to the power 9 Newton meter square Coulomb raised to minus 2 and epsilon naught is equal to 8.85 into 10 to the power minus 12 coulomb square newton raised to minus 1 and meter raised to minus 2 alternatively it can be written as and now here this epsilon naught is called as the absolute permittivity of free space so this is absolute permittivity of free space. So this is one important statement for the board exams. You can expect a question state Coulomb's inverse square law. So where you have to say that this law states that the electrostatic force existing between two electric charges is directly proportional to the product of the charges and inversely proportional to the square of the distance separating them. Now, if we assume here 
q1 is equal to 1 and q2 is equal to 1 and suppose that they were separated by a distance of 1 meter that means the charge q1 at point a has got one coulomb charge q2 has again one coulomb charge situated at point b they are separated by a distance of one meter then by substituting these values in the equation 3 that is f is equal to k q1 q2 by r square we can find the value of f to be equal to k and on substituting the values we can find that f will give a value of 9 into 10 to the power 9 newton now based on these parameters we can define one coulomb so how do we define it so if equal and similar charge that is q1 and q2 are equal in magnitude and they are similar and they are placed at a distance of one meter apart in free space then it experiences a force of 9 into 10 to the power 9 and then the charge is said to be of one coulomb So here you have the definition for one coulomb when the charges are one coulomb each and they are separated by a distance of one meter in free space and then the force experienced by them will be equal to 9 into 10 to the power 9 newton. Now this is when actually the charge is placed in air or vacuum. So now let us say that now the electrostatic force between these two charges when they are placed in vacuum can be given as f vac is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q1 q2 by r square so here epsilon naught is the absolute permittivity of free space and meanwhile f medium that means the electrostatic force between the two charges when these charges are placed in a particular medium can be written as 1 by 4 pi epsilon q1 q2 by r square.